this is the class act of the field in terms of what she's done in the past and what she did this morning. Already got the one metre title under her belt. Here's Jennifer Abel with her inward two and a half somersaults. Where her head is and where she's at this evening. Church five didn't like it very much, but uh, sevens and a 7.5 for Jennifer. End of the first round of five. One meter champion. Back two and a half somersaults with Pike to finish round two of the three meter springboard. Very tight. The tops you'll see in a moment when we reveal the leaderboard at the end. She's choosing fours and 4.5s. That could be Madison Keeney out of the medals, and that would be a real shame. Yeah, she's got a lot of talent. Doesn't always put it all together at the right time. This lady, however, is a complete reverse of that. Forward two and a half, one twist. And now clear in the top two with the Australian Esther Chin. That's how it stands. And Alicia Black has moved into the in Hannah Starling. Nine mind Alicia Black. So at the moment, Hannah Starling is in a medal position. Jennifer Abel knows that she has to be at the top of her game now to catch Esther Chin with a forward three and a half. Oh. She's going to have uh, 11 points to make up in round number five if she wants to get the gold. And she desperately does want to do the double here, does Jennifer, but Anna Starling has a medal. What colour? It's 73.5. In other words, kind of eight and a halfs, really, for Jennifer Abel for gold for Canada. Silver medalist four years ago. You can see her disappointment. Silver again for Abel. 